All right, so this week we'll start with uh, painting the material cubes. So I have the reference of my paintings on my left. So these are the cubes done by Sephir of Art. Oh, you can check out his YouTube channel for more of his artworks and his progress. Uh, so the stone cubes, wood cubes and material cubes are good materials for us to start off with and then we'll paint according to his uh, reference on some of these materials here. Okay, so uh, last week I gave you guys some shortcuts for the for our settings and then uh, I got some feedback that the uh, burn setting is not working entirely correct. So uh, I do have a fix for it. So what happened is that uh, when the when you guys uh, use burn, okay, the, the, the shortcut didn't just go to burn, it goes to the uh, 3D eyedropper too. And the count tool as well. So so uh because I probably did not cleanly delete these two shortcuts. So what we need to do is that we need to delete away those use uh useless shortcut keys here, and then we'll be fine. So I'll go to edit keyboard shortcuts, and then uh we should be using this set of hotkeys that I given to you guys, and then uh, if you see a uh, default, um you probably have this on, um if uh it is there if you see this there this is wrong and then what you need to do is you need to come here and delete the shortcut keys over here make sure they are empty so our i shortcut will not go to any of these tools here which is not very useful for digital painting and then our i key will be solely being used for burn okay and then uh, so we we want our shortcut keys to jump between dodge burn and uh, sponge tool very quickly so that we will be able to do uh, very cool things for painting with uh, this shortcut keys here. Okay, so for example, if I have uh, this one layer over here, I just fill it up with this color. And uh, if I were to use my burn tool, oh, now that you have pressed uh, OK, so I repeat again if you do a uh, keyboard shortcuts, if you deleted those already, you can press. Uh, save shortcut keys over here save all the current changes of the shortcut keys and then you press ok so make sure you delete away all this and then you press save and you press ok and then the, this will be safe and then you will only have this uh, i shortcut key for burn and then uh, when i use my burn tool you can see um, on this layer i can have the color nicely burn becoming darker so burn will darken an area of an image and the layer that I'm selecting on is important. I need to use an area that already has this color on it. So I'm just testing it out on this color. And then same for dodge. I, If I were to press a dodge, I would brighten this area. Oh, so I'm working on one layer and uh, the layer color that was that was uh, I was using just now is this color and then when I burn it it becomes darker when I dodge it it becomes brighter okay so how do we know the tones that is being used you can look at this uh, dodge and burn tone ranges that I created so um, if your layer is this color okay if my layer is I'm using this color here okay and you, you so all these dodge ranges is uh, I'm referring to this range over here. Oh, so you can see on the top left corner for dodge there's three ranges highlight mid tone shadows, and then for burn is the same thing. There is also um highlight mid tone shadows. Okay, so if you refer to this chart, um, you can have an idea of what is happening. So what is happening is that if you use this color here and I select burn shadows the color will go towards this direction where it becomes more saturated oh, so it becomes burn shadow so from this color it will become this color here okay if i use mid tone the color will go from here it become here so it will it will go in the this direction downwards straighter down whereas uh, if you use burn shadow it will go more towards the right where it becomes more saturated so if you look at the color wheel, you know, this directions becomes more saturated. This downwards is just uh, 
using the same hue of colors same range of hue of colors and if I were to use a burn highlights it will actually go this direction here oh, burn highlights will actually go this direction so from this color it will become this color here so it will remain very dark it will remain very desaturated because primary is going this direction so you can see on the color wheel it is um, the desaturated range of the color wheel where there is not much colors here so depending on your needs you can use different ranges okay you can also refer to this chart below so if your color is this color and then you give it a burn highlight it becomes this color if you burn mid-tones it becomes this color if you burn shadows it becomes this color i prefer to keep my burn most of the time using mid-range okay now we look at the dodge mid-tones okay so if my color is this color and then I dodge mid-tone, same thing. It will remain in this range of colors. So it will go in this direction. And then uh, from this color, it will become brighter while uh, not being super saturated. So it will be uh, quite nice and bright. Okay, If you use dodge highlights, you will go from this color into this color. It will become nice and bright and uh, saturated. If you use dodge shadows, it become more white-ish. It doesn't have so much of the colors. You add a lot of white to it also if you use dot shadow this color becomes this color if you dodge mid tone colors you go from this color to this color if you dodge highlights you go from this color to this color so you see all of this it has to start from a layer with colors oh, this is all on one layer this is uh, all on one color that we are using and then just different settings on dodge and burn highlight mid-tone shadows and then uh, from one color to another so if you were to that is also the reason why if you were to create a new layer and an empty layer or something and this is probably a lot of students they ran to this issue and then they start dodging and burning then they will, they will ask me hey why there is there no effect no effect because you are using on an empty layer so if i were to press alternate left click on this layer and i investigate this is an empty layer. There's nothing for me to dodge and burn. Oh, so even if you look at this example, there's a flower, there's a picture for the person to burn. That's why it is able to add the colors to it. Oh, so uh, take note of that. And then I hope this uh, gives you more idea to how to use it. My favorite for um, dodge is actually to keep it at highlights but of course um, this can change accordingly to your painting and your layers and then um, you just use it according to your needs and change the ranges according to uh, what you are using so, so you can jump between the different dodge range and different burn range okay and then maybe since i'm talking about all this um, i would also maybe talk a little bit about um, I'll talk a little bit about sponge tool as well. Okay, so the sponge tool is to uh, you can do a saturate or desaturate on the layer. So right now my this layer is actually pretty desaturated this color. So if I were to choose saturate and then have some values to it, then if I were to saturate the top part, you see the top part becomes very saturated. So sometimes you may want to have different areas of the painting where you want one area of painting to be more saturated but you don't want to overdo it too much so you can also desaturate it you can also desaturate it so I can go back to this corner I can desaturate some of it back so with this tree you have control a lot of control over your colors um, dodge burn and then saturate or desaturate the colors accordingly to your needs okay so i hope that helps and then uh, next video we'll start on the actual painting on the different cubes see you next time bye